Good morning once again and welcome to this moment of thanking God, praising God, lifting up His holy name and exalting His holy name. What a privilege and honor and, and, and grace of God that He has given unto us that we should thank Him this honor. It's a privilege to come before God to adore Him. It's a privilege to come before God and to lift up His holy name. It's a privilege to come before God and to give Him all the praise that He deserves for He alone is worthy. This morning, I want to. Th we thank God for His goodness. We thank God for His grace. We thank God for His favor. We thank God for His blessings upon our life. Psalms 107, verse 1. May we read Psalms 107, verse 1. To usher us into the time of thanking God. To usher us to the time of lifting up His holy name. To usher us to the time of adoring Him because of the good things He has done unto men. Psalms 107, verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good for his mercies endures forever oh give thanks to the lord oh give thanks to the lord why should we give him thanks for he is good god has been good to us god has been so gracious to us god has been so loving to us god has been there for us it says for his mercies endures forever yesterday we endured his mercy the days before we we experience his masses today we shall experience his masses even tomorrow we shall walk in the masses of god the bible says his masses endure us for all may we thank god for his masses may we thank god for his goodness the bible says for surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life his goodness has been pursuing us his masses has been pursuing us has been walking with us and has been going ahead of us may we give him thanks for his goodness may we give him thanks for his masses hallelujah Hallelujah. Verse 2 says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, for he has redeemed for he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. You are the redeemed of the Lord. God has paid his, his God has paid for our redemption. He has poured his blood for our redemption. He has shed his blood for our redemption. He has redeemed you from sickness. He has redeemed you from poverty. He has redeemed you from the curse of the enemy. He has redeemed you from destruction. May the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hope he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. This morning I rejoice. This morning I thank God for I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I'm redeemed from sickness and disease. I'm redeemed from the curse of the enemy. I'm redeemed from plague. I'm redeemed from poverty because let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You are the redeemed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, uh, Psalms 107 verse 8 says, O oh, men that would give thanks to the Lord for his for his goodness and for his wonderful works in the, in, in, for his wonderful works to the children of men. You are the child of God. May, may you thank him because of his wonderful works in your life. You are you are, you are once sick and you are and God came and healed you. You are once with nobody and God came and make you somebody. You are once had no future and God came and gave you a future. You are once in the in the hands of destruction but God came and did didn't you? God came and showed you his love. God came and delivered you. God, there's a time you are, you are facing crisis. There's a time you are in the hands of the enemy. You are destroyed. Your marriage was being destroyed. Your relationship with your, with your love that was being destroyed. But God came and delivered you. You are once facing a sack at your place of work. But God came and redeemed you. You are once, hallelujah. This is the time to thank God. This is the time to exalt his holy name. This is the time to adore him. Yes, you remember that time you are so low. You remember that time that the, the enemy were about to destroy you. You are, you are about to be destroyed by your close friends. You are about to be destroyed by the people whom you trust. But God came and saved you. Came at the right time and he saved you. Your once your house was about to go down to break down. But God came and delivered your house. May this time your children were about to be destroyed. But God came and delivered you. you are, the sickness was about to destroy you. But God came and delivered you. And he did dig you from that sickness. And he did dig you from that crisis and God came at, at the right time and he upheld you with his righteous hand and he assisted you and he helped you. Oh, may you give thanks for the wonderful works of God. Give him thanks this morning. Yes, you know that time you were born. When your, the, the bank was about to, destroy, or to auction all that you have, then when you were about to be 
to be taken to court because of you defaulted to do something. God came and delivered you. Oh, hallelujah. That time when the Shiloh were about to do, you have seen the God's intervention in your life. You have seen God's hand in your life. God came and you give him thanks for his wonderful deeds. Hallelujah. My Lord, my God, this morning, I thank God, dear Father, for you have redeemed us, oh God. You have redeemed us from the hands of the enemy. You have redeemed us from sickness and disease. You have redeemed us from the curse of destruction. You have redeemed us when the sin was about to destroy us, oh God. By your grace and by your favor, Jehovah God, the Master, we cried out to you, oh God, the Father, and in the richness of your mercy, oh God, and in the refulness of your goodness, oh King of God, you came and delivered us, oh God. You came and held us, oh God. You came and helped us, oh Jehovah God, the Master. You came out, dear Father, can't turn our sea. My Lord, my God, this morning I give you praise. This morning I adore you, oh God. This morning I magnify your holy name, oh God. This morning I lift up your holy name, oh King of God. My Lord, my God, I say thank you, oh God. Me, this morning I say thank you, oh God. This day I say thank you for your goodness, oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for my marriage, oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for the life of my children, oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for the relationship, oh dear Father, of my household, oh Jehovah God, the Master. I say thank you, dear Master, for my relationship in my dad's household, oh God. Thank you, dear Father, for your preservation, oh God. Thank you, dear Master, for your preservation, oh God. You have watched over us, oh dear Master. You have blessed our going out and you have blessed our coming in, oh God. I thank you, dear Master, because of your richness, oh God, dear Father, of your mercies, oh God. I thank you, dear Father, for your goodness, oh Jehovah God, the Master. Oh dear Father, in your goodness, oh dear Father, we are the head of God. In your goodness, we are provided, oh God. In your goodness, we are delivered, oh God. In your goodness, oh dear Father, we are healed, oh God. In your goodness, oh dear Father, we are elevated, oh God. In your goodness, oh dear Father, you are protected, oh God. In your goodness, oh dear Father, you are preserved, oh God. My Lord, my God, in your mercies, oh dear Master, we are not consumed, oh King of God. In your mercies, oh dear Father, we are restored, oh God. This morning, I thank you, dear Master, because, oh dear Father, in your mercies, oh dear Father, you do come to help us, oh God. In your mercies, oh God, you do come, oh dear Father, to assist us, oh God. In your mercies, oh God, you open that door, dear Master. In your mercies, oh dear Father, you bring us to a place of blessings, oh God. And for this reason, I exalt and I lift up your holy name, oh God. My Lord, my God, oh dear Father, you are not destroyed, oh dear Master. You have redeemed us from destruction, oh God. You have redeemed us from the curse of the air of the Lord, dear Master. You have redeemed us, oh dear Father, from sickness and diseases, oh God. You have redeemed us, oh dear Father, from lack and, oh dear Father, poverty, Jehovah God, dear Master. And for this reason, we exalt and we adore you, dear Master. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Master, for your goodness, oh God. Thank you, dear Master, for your mercies, oh God. We lift up your name this morning, oh God. My Lord, my God, if it were not you, oh God, what, what, what could you have done, oh dear Master? If it were not you, Jehovah God, dear Master, what could you have said, oh Jehovah God, dear Master? I thank you, dear Master, because, oh dear Father, you give us hope, oh dear Master. You give us hope, oh dear Master. You give us hope, oh King of glory. I give you the glory. I give you the praise. I give you the adoration. I give you the honor. You alone are worthy, oh dear Master. You alone you are worthy, O oh God. You alone you are worthy to be exalted, O oh God. You alone you are worthy to be adored, O oh dear Master. I bless you, oh dear Master. I adore you, King of Glory. Father, you, oh dear Father. Oh, Father, you feed us, oh God. Oh, dear Father, you feed us, oh God. You feed us, oh God, oh dear Master. You feed us, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. My Lord, my God, in the, in the hour of thirst, oh dear Master, you provide, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. In the hour of anger, oh dear Master, you provide, oh dear Master. In the hour of lack, oh God, you provide, oh King of Glory. We thank you and we give you praise. We adore you, oh dear Master. When we Lack of God, dear Father, you open that door, God. When we lack on your master, you come in hand in Jehovah God, the master. When we lack on your master, you open the heavens of the master and you pour out on your master all that we need, O King of God. That, dear Father, you satisfy our lack with good stuff, O dear master. You feed our mouth with good stuff, O dear master. We thank you and we exalt you, dear master. You are our redeemer. You are our redeemer. You are our redeemer. You are our redeemer. I give you praise and I give you adoration. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, I want us to look at one or two things concerning restoration or restitution. To be restored or to be restituted. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19, 
I shall start from verse 20, Acts 19, Acts chapter 3, verse 20, Acts chapter 3, verse 20. And that he may send Jesus Christ, whom, whom was preached to you before, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of the all, all his holy prophet since the world began. And he may send Jesus Christ, whom was preached before you, whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things. We hear the Bible is speaking prophetically that heaven must receive him. Jesus currently has been received by heaven. He has ascended. So heaven is receiving him until he shall be in heaven. Until he shall be in heaven. Until the times of restoration of, of all things, which whom God has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophet since the world began. Since the world began. Begun. Restoration means to bring back into existence or to use or to re establish. Restoration means to bring back to an original state, to bring back to an original state, to put someone back in his former position. What is it that you need in your life to be restored? Is it your relationship with your loved ones? Maybe your relationship with, with your love, that which means maybe with your parents, with your spouse, with your children, with your siblings has deteriorated. It has broken down. No communication. You cannot call one another. You cannot speak to one another. With your in-laws, that relationship is broken. There is no communication. I, it's my prayer this morning that that, restored, that relationship shall be restored back in the name of Jesus. We need to restore our relationship, our communication in our homes, with our loved ones, with our in-laws, with our children, with our spouses, with our parents, with, uh, with one another. May that restoration be restored. That's what God is saying. Until all things, until, until, until the times of restoration of all things, until the time of restoration of all things, that the communication, that relationship is a part of all things. Is it that you are once in employment but now you have been laid off, you have been sacked? Or you have been laid off, you have, you have been returned and you are struggling to look for unemployment? God is saying this morning that until the restoration of all things, may, oh, may we be restored back into that employment. May we be restored back into that employment. The Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 4 verse 36 and 37. Daniel chapter 4 verse 36 and 37. And and at the same time, at the same time, my reason returned to me and for, and for the glory of my kingdom. My honor and my splendor returned to me. My counselors and nobles resort, resorted to me. I was restored to my kingdom and excellence of majesty was added to me. Now I am Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extort and honor the king of heaven, all all of whose work are truth and his ways justice and the work of the who and who walk in pride he also put he is able to put down Nebuchadnezzar is saying briefly in verse 36 at the same time my reason returned to me maybe you are maybe you are going a stressful moment maybe you are under under stress depression and your reasoning is not National, your reasoning is not upright, your reasoning is not sane, is not normal. God is saying this morning, at the same time, my reason returned to me. But maybe whatever you are going through, you cannot reason properly, you cannot make a sound judgment. It's my prayer that this morning restoration shall be done, that your reason shall be returned to you. It, it continues to say, and for the glory of my kingdom my, and my own and the splendor returned to me. You have been laid off. You have lost everything. 
that honor now you are, you are not no longer walking in honor you are no longer called an honorable man you are not you are not respected because you have lost your position people are looking down on you you are so you are like that that you are somehow being troubled you are being taken like you are nothing because you have lost that honor you have lost that splendor you have lost that glory it's my prayer that this morning that you shall be restored back to that position Door shall open, you shall be restored back. You shall be restored back to that position. The glory that you used to walk in shall be restored back. Until whom, uh, until times of, of restoration of all things, may God restore us. May God restore all that we have lost, all the fortune that we have lost, all that relationship we have lost, all the time that we have lost, all the relationship we have lost. May it be restored back to us in the name of Jesus. Ecclesiastes 10, 5 says, and there is an evil I have seen under the sun, and sort of an error that arises from a ruler. Fools are put in many high positions when the rich occupy low ones. I have seen slaves on horseback while princes born on, on foot like slaves. We are the position we have lost, the glory that we have lost, the opportunities we have lost, the command that we have lost. It's my prayer that this morning shall be returned back to us, shall be restored. We shall no longer walk in foot while the slaves are walking in horses. Our position, whomever has taken, and going, uh, shall be taken away and we shall be restored back. Our position are coming back to us. The glory is coming back to us in the name of Jesus. God has promised a double restoration. God has promised a double restoration. The Bible says in Isaiah 6, 1, verse 7, Isaiah 6, 1, verse 7, Instead of shame, you shall have double honor. You have lost that position. You have lost whatever you have lost. Maybe that relationship. Maybe you have, you have, gone, you have been separated. Maybe you have lost that business. Now you are begging. Now you are looking like a beggar. Now your people are dishonoring you. The Bible says, instead of shame, you shall have double honor. What is it that you have lost? What is it that has been taken away from you? What is it that has been snatched from you? And it has brought shame into your life. The Bible says, instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. Instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in the land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be theirs. God is saying, in your confusion because of what, I, what you have gone through. That even you are ashamed to walk before people and you look confused and you, hallelujah. Yes, I'm speaking to somebody who have, his marriage is destroyed. I'm speaking to somebody who has, his children have been taken away. And as a result of that, you are walking in shame. As a result of that, you are walking in disorder. And as a result of that, you are confused. May I speak joy. I speak double honor. I speak everlasting joy to your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, that those children shall come back to you. That marriage is going to be restored in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You shall possess what is yours in the name of Jesus. You shall possess what is yours in the name of Jesus. I speak restoration into your life in the name of Jesus. We are speaking of double honor this morning. We are speaking of double honor this morning. We are speaking of restoration this morning. We are speaking You shall not lose whatever is yours. You shall not lose whatever is yours. You shall not lose whatever is yours in the name of Jesus. Job 42.10 Job 42.10 And the Lord restored Job losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The Lord restored Job's losses 
What is it that you have lost? 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 God said, and God restored to Job. The same way he restored to Job, he shall restore to you. Instead of your shame, you shall be double honor. You shall receive curse in the name of Jesus. Zechariah says, Zechariah 9, 12, return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today, I declare that I will restore double to you. I will restore double to you. Whatever has been taken away from you shall be restored twice. Whatever has been snatched away from you shall be restored twice in the name of Jesus. In relationship, in possession, in that opportunity, in that position, that time shall be restored twice in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said, thief, the thief does not come except to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. And more abundance. Whatever you have lost, you shall have it in abundance. Whatever has been stolen from you, God is a God. Jesus came that you might have it in abundance. Oh, this morning we are claiming double honor. This morning we are claiming, claiming double portion. This morning we are claiming double portion. This morning we are claiming a double portion of what we have lost. In the name of Jesus. The first area I want us to look into, the, the first area that I want us to pray into is, is about our health, about our health, about our health. The Bible says, for I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast saying, this is Zion, no one seeks her. I will restore health to you and I will heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. There are two things I want us to look to into that verse. One is your health. The God is God desires us to, pro, to be in good health and to prosper in our health. Above all things, I wish that we may prosper in health. God wants us to prosper in health and heal our wounds. Wounds are something that is emotional. Maybe something had gone in happened in your life, and as a result of that, you are undepressed. As a result of that, you are you are having a hypertension, blood, high blood pressure. As a result of that, there's so many complications in your body. As a result of what you went through, this that trauma, and that's that, that you are confused. You look like you are you are a bad person. God said, "I will restore. I will heal you of your wounds. Something have uh, happened, and you are so much inhated in bitterness." You are so much in hatred, in bitterness and vengeance. You are emotionally disturbed. God said, I shall heal your wound. You are so much hurt, I shall heal your wound. Yes, that, that God is saying, I will restore your health. I will restore your health to you. I don't know what is happening in your life this morning. I don't know how much, what kind of state of health you are in this morning. May we just call on, on the word of God. May we call on the name of the Lord. And the reminding of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, that you said you shall restore our health to us. You shall restore our health to us. My Lord, my God, I'm praying, oh dear Master, for my brothers and sisters this morning, that oh dear Father, who are not well this morning, my Lord, my God, this is your promise. This is your promise, oh God. This is your word, oh God. Father, you have said in your word, oh dear Master, your word is alive and active and sharper than double-edged sword, the job of the Master. Your word is alive, oh dear Master. Father, you have said in your word, oh God, oh dear Father, you look upon your word to perform it, oh God. May you perform your word, oh dear Father, in our life this morning. Father, I pray, Job, oh God, for them that who are no one and unhealthy this morning, oh God, who are sick and healed this morning, that oh dear Father who are having diabetes, oh God, who are having high blood pressure, Jehovah God, the Master, my God, my God, who are having oh dear Father kidney issues, oh God, who are having Jehovah God, the Father eye problems, oh Jehovah, so it problem, oh God, who are having oh dear Father tumor, Jehovah God, in their bodies, oh God, my Lord, my God, may you restore their health in the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master, my Lord, my God. God, I do pray, Jehovah God, the Master, who are on their Father for our brothers and sisters of God, who are having that communicable diseases, so Jehovah God, the Master, arthritis, arthritis, I would their Father, hyper, I, hepatitis B, or a Jehovah God, the Master, my Lord, my God, or their Father, whatever, their Father may be healing your people this morning. I do pray, Jehovah God, may you heal them in the name of Jesus, because of the Master, those who are having communicable diseases of God, I do pray, Jehovah God, may you heal them of God, those who are having that Communicable diseases of God. My Father, you send 
forth your word and healed them, my dear master. Father, you have said in your word that you sent forth your word and healed us of all our sickness and disease. Father, I speak your word upon their bodies. I speak your word upon their flesh. I speak your word upon their soul this morning. May they be restored in the name of Jesus Christ, of your master. Father, I pray for this restoration of God. I pray for wellness of this morning. I pray for wholeness this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, of your master. For your word is true and your Lord God is true. And you watch over your word to perform it in the name of Jesus Christ, of your master. I thank you, dear Father, because you are doing it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, dear Father, because you are doing it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, dear Master, because you are doing it in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2, verse 25 and 26. God restores time. God restores time. God restores time. So I will restore to you the ears that the swarming locust has eaten, the crying locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. My great army which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God, who, do, who, who has dwelt toward us with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. There's some years that have gone that way, and you have not been fruitful, and you have not been productive, and your time you feel has been wasted. From January to December, you have achieved nothing and you have done nothing. And yet you are, you are supposed to be fruitful and productive and deliver and have something to show that this year, this is what you have achieved. This year is what you have managed to gain. This year is what you have gained. This year is how you have moved forward. This year is how you have advanced, either in career or otherwise, or in investment. But from January to December, there's nothing you can show up, apart from being alive. Those are time God is saying is going to restore. You have done nothing. You have achieved nothing. You have, uh, you have not progressed in any way. It has been a wasteful year. It's my prayer that this morning that year shall be restored. That whatever you are supposed to achieve this year, you shall do double. Whatever you are supposed to gain this year, you shall gain it double in abundantly. That you shall achieve more, that God shall hasten, God shall open doors that, that whatever has been consumed, that year that has been consumed, that you have not been fruitful, that you have not been productive, that you have not achieved anything, that this year you shall have double, this year you shall gain double, this year you shall be double in the name of Jesus. 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 <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for my brothers and my sisters this morning, whom, oh dear Father, ears have been wasted, oh God. Whom, whatever they need to have and gain, oh dear Father, and they have not gained, oh King of glory. Especially the days, oh God, oh dear Father, of COVID, of shutdown, oh King of glory. That only a master, their life has been a standstill. Their life has been a standstill, oh God. And nothing has been achieved. There's nothing to show off, oh dear master, in the years past, oh King of glory, apart from being alive. Father, I do pray in the name of Jesus. Even this year, dear Father, that has time has gone and nothing has been achieved. Nothing has been gained, oh God. There's nothing to show off, oh God. Father, I do pray, oh dear Father, in the remaining days, in the remaining months, oh dear Master, may we be able to achieve. May we be able to gain. May we be able, oh dear Father, to O oh, dear Father, to show forth in a double manner, dear Master. May we do something that, O oh, dear Father, we shall say, dear Master, that this is the work of the Lord. May your name be praised, O oh, dear Master. That, O oh, dear Father, we could not have achieved this without your help, O oh, God. We could not have achieved this without your breakthrough, Jehovah God, O oh, dear Master. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh, dear Master. May you eat this year, O oh, God, O oh, dear Father, may it deep with the banners, O oh, dear Master. May you crown this year with the banners, O oh, Jehovah God, O oh, dear Master. I do pray in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh, dear Master. 
may we be able to achieve, oh God. May we put our hand into use, oh dear Father, and deliver, oh God. May we put our hands into use, oh God, oh dear Master, and bring forth, oh dear Master, that, oh dear Master, will not, no time, oh dear Father, shall be wasted, oh God. No time, oh dear Master, shall be gone to waste, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. Father, I do pray, oh God, for achievement. I do pray for success. I do pray for progress. I do pray for advancement, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. I do pray, Jehovah God, for dear Father, may we move forth, oh dear Master, and gain Jehovah God, oh dear Master. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. May we be fruitful, Jehovah God, oh dear Master. May we be prosperous, oh dear Master. May we be able to progress, oh Jehovah God, oh dear Master. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Master. I thank you and I worship you. I give you the praise, I give you the honor. For you alone are worthy to be exalted, oh God. You are adored oh god may we you alone not their father be alone not their father be praised in the name of jesus 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 i want to pray for our relationships I want to pray for our relationships. We live in a, in a setting whereby we have to relate with one another. We, ha we have an emotional part of it that need a relationship, need to be attached. Our soul are yearning for a relationship. I am praying this morning for someone Maybe your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your parent, your relationship with your siblings, your relationship with your children, your relationship with your parents has deteriorated. There's no communication. Maybe for time, for some time, could be one year, could be two years, could be months, could be years, you have never communicated with your in-laws, you have never communicated with your spouse, you have never communicated with your children, you have never communicated with your parents, with your siblings, because that relationship is gone. Is it gone? You, you have not reconciled or you cannot be reconciled. You don't talk to one another, you don't talk to each other. You don't talk to your parents because the relationship is gone for years or for months or for days. You have never spoken with them. You are loved with a member of your nuclear family, with your parents-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law, whoever-in-law, because of that relationship has broken down. Your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, maybe something happened and that relationship was destroyed. This, you have not forgiven one another. You have never reached out to one another. Even if you visit, you stay away. You cannot go into their houses. You cannot participate in that settlement. You cannot participate in that family gathering because of that relationship has been destroyed. It's my prayer that this body, that relationship shall be restored. Yes, you know who I'm talking about. Yes, you are in that position. Maybe your relationship with your parent-in-law. Maybe your relationship with your parents, your relationship with your children. Yes, your children don't call you and you don't call them. That there is that broken relationship because of an event happened. You are with your brothers, you don't talk to your brothers. You say that if that person is going to attend in that function, I shall not attend because of that. There's that bitterness, there's that hatred, there's that vengefulness because of something happened. It's my prayer that this morning that relationship shall be restored. Malachi 4 6. You see, he will turn the hearts of their parents to their children and the hearts of their children back to their parents' parents. God is the only one who can turn your hearts to one another. In this particular reference, he shall turn the hearts of their parents to their children. This is a, a situation of a broken relationship. He shall turn their hearts back together. Luke 1 17. And say, I will go, I will, I will go on before the Lord in the spirit of the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of their parents to their children and disobedient to the wisdom of righteousness. God is the one who is able to turn your hearts. May we open up to him.
him and say, Father, I need my relationship with so and so be restored. May you hand my tongue towards him. May you turn my heart towards her. That that bitterness, that hatred, that unforgiveness may be lifted up in the name of Jesus. May it be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Yes, your relationship with your husband, with your spouse, with your wife is broken. There is no forgiveness. May God remove that bitterness, that unforgiveness, and it is to you back in the name of Jesus. May we just pray and ask God for forgiveness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray may, we restore, may you restore our relationship to one another. May you restore our relationship with one another. Father, I'm praying, oh God, dear Father, for a relationship that is broken between husband and wife. Father, I'm praying, oh God, dear Master, for where a relationship is broken between, oh dear Master, children and parents, oh dear Master. Father and their children, oh God, mother and their children, oh dear Master. Father with their daughter, ma father with their son, mother with their daughter, mother with their daughter sons of God. May that relationship of your father be restored in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying, oh God, we are by dear master. We are by oh God of your master relationship of your father with your brothers, with someone with his brothers or their father, with our brothers or their friends, the siblings of God. When relationship amongst the siblings is broken, oh God. I pray for that relationship of God. Well, for the relationship whereby oh God the oh their father relationship is broken between in laws parents and laws so, or their father brothers and sisters and Loss of God. Father, I pray Jehovah God, that heart of unforgiveness of God, that heart of unforgiveness of God, that heart of unforgiveness of King of Lord. Be, oh dear Father, oh dear Father, be broken down in the name of Jesus. May you soften our hearts of God. May we, there may be there be of forgiveness of God. May, be, may there be reconciliation of God. May you restore that relationship of God. May that bitterness and hatred, oh dear Master, be broke, oh dear Father, be uplifted up in the name of Jesus. Father, may you heal our hearts of God. May we heal our wounds, O oh Jehovah God, the Master. Let there be forgiveness. Let there be reconciliation. Restore our relationship, O oh Jehovah. May we turn our hearts towards one another, O oh Master. That wall, that wall of hostility, that wall of division, O oh God, that wall of hatred and heart, O oh dear Master. May it be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh dear Master. Reconcile us, O oh dear Master, to the glory and honor of your name. I thank you and I worship you. I lift up your holy name and I give you praise in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I believe God has restored us. God is visiting our lives. God is restoring all that we have lost. And I thank God because God hears our prayer. Say, ask that shall be given. And you have asked God and he's going to do that. And may you continue thanking him and exalting his holy name. I want us to honor God with our giving. Because he alone is good. He alone is worthy as a sign of thanksgiving. As an, uh, an act of thanksgiving. And you can do that in one way or the another. You can do it through Mpesa, the bank. The details are there on the screen, 84, 20, 50. That's our pay bill and the, work, and the account is what you are honoring God for. And also you can do that through Family Bank. The details are there on the screen. You can do mobile banking or internet banking or another way of banking. And God shall continue to bless you and to honor, and to honor you and to restore you and to lift you up in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen.